Welcome back. As we look live here this evening on our KCAU 9 studio camera, Port Neal Walden Company, and it's cloudy. It's been kind of a day here where if you can be inside, uh, yeah, probably the preferable place to be with that southeast wind. We started our day with a patch of light snow to the east of Sioux City over towards Storm Lake and up towards Spirit Lake as well. And a little coating of that here and, of course, a little wind, too. And that kind of just adds to the environment out there. Only 14, but uh, I tell you what, temperatures here, probably a little bit better tomorrow. But I'm going to tell you the forecast with the wind tomorrow will probably negate any kind of warming that we might feel out there. Right now it's 5 in Cherokee, 0 in Spencer, and it's really colder weather here north of Esterville. Much colder, in fact, with that coating of snow. There's that system right there. That started yesterday, about this time up near Bismarck. Really going quickly here as the jet stream out of the northwest and these little impulses come through. The next one is going to be here tonight. It's going to come right through Siouxland. Let's take a closer look at this. Our timeline starting at 8 p.m. this evening. And then as we advance our time clock right into 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, there probably will be a little coating of snow north of Sioux City. Sioux Falls, probably Rock Rapids and Sioux Center, a little bit better odds of that. So I'm going to keep it as flurries right now for Sioux City itself. Tomorrow, though, this wind, it's going to be strong. It's going to be every bit of 15 to 25 out of the southeast. So that will be something you'll expect as you head out the door tomorrow for work and school. And then we get into the forecast going forward. I'm expecting areas of light snow starting Monday night into Tuesday. Now, Tuesday is our main snow chance day. It looks like there will be snow across the region. But the challenge here, like it was with the last system, is figuring out where these narrower bands of heavier snow could set up. And when we flip gears here to the next map, I want to show you the big view here. See how this comes in out of the west? So, again, it's a broad footprint of some lighter to moderate snows. But then when we get down a little closer, look at this. There's kind of a band that comes up from somewhere near Lincoln on up into parts of Siouxland. I'm still open to the idea of this little band moving around a little bit and maybe coming back a little farther north. But somebody in the middle of that is going to get a plowable snow and I think it will include some of our viewers here. The other thing we need to watch is some cold air coming on backside of this system here as we go into the later part of the week, probably Thursday, a big shot of cold air comes in out of Canada and we're not done. There's more coming next week, but it's kind of a cycle. Lows tonight near 11, so temperatures holding steady. We might even start climbing by daybreak and then we'll make it to 25 tomorrow with the wind, with the clouds, and then we get into our forecast Tuesday. We ramp up the chance of snow to 80%. 20s will continue into Wednesday, but then after that, we drop a little bit. And we're still watching to see how much we need to drop that. It really depends on how much snow we get. Yeah. And that's still a question that we'll continue to hammer out here. Mm -hmm. Scott will have more details coming up here at 10 o'clock. Yeah, and things can change at any moment, so you just never know. Watching it carefully, that's yes. right. Yes, all right. Thanks so much, Brian. Mm -hmm.